Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at lesson number five of our Coding Fundamentals Part 1 series. Let's dive in, take a look. All right, so here we are on the main menu, off to View Library, and let's go to Subject Kits, Computer Science, Block-Based Coding, Coding Fundamentals Keyboard in our instance and Coding Fundamentals 1. Lesson number 5 is called Grey Wolves. Let's grab our lesson plan over here. Whoa. Uh, you can print this off if you just go to the Educator Resources. But you won't need it today because you've got me going through all of the steps with you for this one. So here we are, we're on our spaceship or I don't know, it's a big plane or something. And we're going to have a chat with Dr. Barwin who tells us all about wolves, but it's more about protecting other animals from wolves. So in front of us here, we've got the chickens and they've got some uh, iron bars around them. See the wolves over there, ready to get in and cause, uh, cause a bit of a problem. So we need to get some iron bars uh, around those chickens. Look at those wolves. The sheep are here too. They're looking a bit concerned. Uh, but the main job today is to sort out those chickens uh, for our first activity. So let's press C to go to our coding activities. And where it says there on chat command run, we are going to be adding a loop for four times. Now that four times loop is going to be each side of our square of iron bars. So square has four sides and that's what that repeat's going to do. And the repeat inside that is the nine blocks and the length of each side of the square. And the repeat two times is the second layer. So we'll need to make sure we go up um, after we've repeated everything else. So we're going to set our agent's items to iron bars at a count of 64. And we're going to make sure that after we've put down nine blocks of iron bars below the agent, we're going to turn right. And inside our repeat nine times, we are going to go, uh, we're going to place down and we're going to move forward by one. Okay, so um, underneath our repeat four times, inside our repeat twice bracket, we're going to need to move up by one. And this is going to, once, once the agent completes one layer of iron bars, they're going to then complete the next. And so let's send our agent off. And he's going to complete all four sides of this. All right, here he comes around the corner and he's going to move up another layer and complete the layer at the top also. Right there, he's done. Okay, so the chickens are now safe and we can move on to keeping these sheep safe. Now this next activity, the sheep are going to follow the agent and our job is just to simply lead them off uh, to a little safer area. So uh, when the agent detects these walls in front of it, it's going to turn. So we want the agent to move forward until it detects a block in front of it, at which point it will turn uh, left, right, right, left. Looks like lots of code. Uh, but the main important bit of code here, the while agent does not detect a block forward, um, we are going to just copy that four more times. We need five of these in total. So whenever he's not detecting a block forward, uh, the agent's going to be moving forward. And uh, the, the moment he does detect a block, he's going to move down to the next thing. And in this case, it's going to be to turn left. We'll add all the turn lefts in. And we just need to change the middle two to right. And that should be fine. It's a, it looks like a lot of code, uh, but actually it's pretty quick. This one, that's all looking good. Right, chat command is sheep. So uh, let's type in sheep and off we go. The sheep are following him as they should if they want to stay safe. That one at the front's really keen. The rest are kind of waiting. They're hanging back a bit. I think they're actually getting in the way of the agent slightly. I've never, I've done this lesson a few times. And I've never seen the sheep get that close to him. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, the agent's off and uh, he's going to hit this last wall, turn left hopefully, here come the rest of the sheep, we'll go along too, why not, and uh, I think when the agent hits that golden plate, uh, yeah, that's the end of the level, so let's move on for this next one, we need to start setting up traps that make loud noises to scare them off, that's Dr. Barwin telling us that, uh, connect a wire between two bells, uh, so it will ring when a wolf passes through, simple, so uh, we're going to stretch out some wire across here. Now this is maybe where some people have gone wrong. I know that in the educator guide, um, there's a small mistake. Uh, it happens, but um, in the educator guide, it does say that uh, when the agent does not detect a block down, 
to place down, uh, which is impossible. So it's not not detect down, it's just when agent detects a block uh, below him, which is all the time because he's walking along the ground, we're going to place tripwire down. So we need to select tripwire um, in our agent set block or item. And then we need to, when the agent detects a block below him, he's going to place the tripwire down onto that block. Um, so if you did get that bit of wrong, there is a small mistake there in the educator guide. Okay, so let's run this code and uh, you'll just get a little syntax error. I think this is because I'm running the 1.17 beta. Uh, I didn't used to get that, uh, but it still works just fine. Off the agent goes and uh, we should hear a bit of a bong. Yeah, when the trip wire goes across the other side and another bong when we walk across it as well. Yeah, nice. So wolves love cover. If we clear up this final patch of grass, uh, we can uh, sort out some problems. So. This particular um, patch of grass is an 8x16. It does say that at the top, 8x16. So the agent needs to destroy and move forward eight times. And uh, there is a little hint there, but we're not going to need it for this one. The agent's going to, uh, eight times, it's going to go destroy a row, turn around, destroy the next row, turn around, and then repeat that a bunch of times. So here's how we do it. We've got to repeat eight times. And in that, we're going to do an agent destroy forward and an agent move forward. So it's going to destroy the grass in front of it and then move into that spot where the grass was. It's going to do that eight times, at which point it'll kind of pop out the other side. And then in the repeat two times, that's where the agent turns around. So the agent's going to move forward and turn to the right twice. Then we're going to duplicate the repeat eight because it's going to go back the way that he came. Duplicate the two, so we can turn around again, and then the whole thing will do eight times. Uh, right, let's run this. I've done something wrong, I know already I've done something wrong. He's gonna come down here and turn the wrong way. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> so the last one, uh, he needs to turn to the left at the end, not to the right. Uh, so let's just, let's go in and change that to left. We all make mistakes. Then we'll compile the code, reset the activity, and this time it will work, I'm fairly confident. So, chat command run. And then we should have done it. We'll have protected all of our sheep and we've removed a hiding place for the wolves um, to kind of hang out in. And we've made it generally a bit of a safer area. And um, there is some stuff in the, in the lesson plan here about wolves in general, what kind of animals they are. Um, and of course, there will be multiple solutions that your students may come up with for this one. Um, so you don't have to clear all of the grass in one long line of code with all the loops. You could do it uh, separately. Um, and then we've got lesson conclusion. We've got some questions and answers. Well, let's do the questions and answers. Why not? Let's do them together. What does the agent detect do? The agent can detect it if an item is around. Uh, then what is a conditional? Um, a statement that tells a program to do different actions depending on whether the condition is true or false. And uh, question, what is it called when we repeat code over and over? Answer, a loop. Oh good, there's the lesson complete. Everyone's safe. Final question, true or false, the agent can hold its own inventory. Uh, yeah, true, because we used that one today. So there's some little uh, leading questions you can use there at the end of your lesson. Right guys, I'm going to be working through, let's bong that bell a few more times. There's the little... Uh, Cool, there's the robot place over there. Robot place, spaceship thing. I think it's a spaceship. Um, I'm going to be um, kind of getting a lot of these lessons and back up onto the channel. Uh, so there will, be, there will be mods and stuff coming up, more interesting 1.17 stuff, but I'm also gonna try and get some of these uh, lessons, the Python lessons and the coding fundamentals lessons as well over the next couple of months and get that all up to date. Um, and have it here as a reference point for teachers who would like to teach these lessons, all right? So do subscribe to the channel if this kind of stuff interests you. Lots of other stuff in the works as well. And I will see you all later in the week.